Welcome back, everybody, to the final episode, the end game between Christianity, United Christianity under your Pope Zhong the Glorious versus Dirty Pagan Lords United. Who have we got? What's it? A Dias Fighter, the All Father, the original Proto European God. There, this is going to be a hell of a showdown. I can't wait for my PC to burst into flames during this episode. So I figured as well, let's go full circle. Not only have I renamed Rome or uh, whatever it was called before, I don't know if it was actually Rome, Fourth Dawn. Because, uh, you know, of course, First Dawn was our holy order that we founded. Second Dawn being the kingdom. Third Dawn being the Chinese Imperial Empire we had. And then Fourth Dawn being Rome Empire of Empires, essentially. What I figured is let's come back full circle. Let's go back to the original ways of, of Extremely Deus Vault. Founder of the Deus Vault Dynasty all those years ago in Episode 1. We're back. We're back to being standard old Latin culture. Look at that. Um, it was still called Zhou the Glorious, but this kid was born extremely. And that's how we shall be known from now on. Extremely Deus Vault to redeem things. We've got to go full circle. How the hell are we going to win this then? So today we have the final... Today we... <laughs> we have the final war going for us. We have the war against Deus Fighter. We have the wall for all end times here. As I said before, if we lose this... Everybody we know and love, every member of our dynasty is put to the torch and it is a guaranteed game over. But if we win it, every pagan is put to the torch and it's a guaranteed victory for Christianity. It's extremely risky because not only does this guy have some ridiculous modifiers, my god, he has 1,000... He has plus 1,400 morale damage. Oh, well, fuck it. Let's just convert now then. Honestly, you know what? Maybe, maybe Odin's not that bad after all. Are you kidding me? What else has he got here? 700% damage. 700 and... Master, masterful short sword. Oh, but martial influence. Right, because he's got 73 martial. is multiplier to everything. Whereas a regular god, kind of threatening but not that bad. Because he's got 73 martial, that's giving a massive modifier to all of his stats. A multiplier on top of the already... So, so say the plus 150%, that's actually multiplied by 4.65 because of that martial. Shit. And our best warrior is, of course, Archangel of Baguette, a man who's just been stacking leadership traits. I don't even know how he's done it. Um, he's actually trying to get another one right now. That's what these warrior pilgrimages are. Now, when, whenever we've done this with the Orders of Chivalry mod, we've only been able to do it twice. Maybe it's something to do with the fact that he's AI. I have no idea how it works. But this guy is just doing it over and over and over and building up his own martial score. He's going to be our champion. He's going to be on the vanguard at the front lines here. Now, I think as, you know, extremely Deus Vol, as we were baptized when we were born, I think... We need to also be on the front lines. The issue is we cannot go into battle as the Pope. So I think it's time we get rid of the papacy. And I think it's time that we return to the front lines as a member of the Deus Vault. We started crusading. Let's finish fucking crusading. I'm not going to sit on this island whilst other good Christian men die for us. Knights of Sardinia, congratulations. You are now... Uh, we can't make this guy the Pope. Okay. Who do we want to make the Pope then, I guess, is the new question. Um, this guy's liking culture, but he's not actually liking. He's just, he's just influenced by their ways, I guess. We want to put the Pope somewhere, this might not, might not be a bad shout, we want to put the Pope somewhere safe, somewhere very central to European lands. I'm thinking like somewhere like here, whereby they're not going to get sieged so easily, but it needs to be somewhere relevant as well to Christianity. We could go for like Canterbury or something like that. Let me take a look around and sort of see what, uh, who, who might be a good candidate here for papacy. I have an idea. I have an idea. So I found this guy who's one of the only unlanded angels in the world right now. There's obviously us, Archangel, we get Mahendra Varman, blah, 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 blah. But this guy is, is an angel. He's a crusader. He's got that angelic form. He's obviously a fantastically good angel. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost Archangel level of, of good here. He's a member of the, what is it? The Order of Calatrava. I think he's the perfect candidate. Now, I have an idea for where we're going to land him as well because, of course, he's unlanded. How about Sanctus Day? Surely this makes the most perfect sense. Granted, we're giving away half of our realm, but if it's for the glory of Christianity, it's for the glory of Christianity, and I couldn't think of anything more appropriate in this situation to grant him. My friend, Sanctus Day is yours. One island, we have the, 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 the capital of the new Roman Empire, and then on the other island, we have the head of the religion. I think this is a fantastic idea. And boom, there he is. Pope Urbanus II. Religion and state perfectly unified. Look at that. It's like, you know, day and night, Romulus and Remus. Look at this. It's 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 the duality that we've been looking for here. And the final duality, of course, burning this fucker um, and his polar bear friend there. All right. So now that that's out of the way, in theory, we should be able to now lead troops as the glorious we can. Look at that. And this is what we wanted. We need to finish this with some crusades because I feel like we very much missed the mark with uh, with some of this. We've been very distracted with all sorts of wizardry and shit. So now we're going to get back on track. 
I would love to become an archangel before, before we go to war, but given that he's sitting there with a bigger army and a bigger empire than us right now, I don't know, actually, is, does he have a bigger empire? Let's check in the outline very briefly. Um, what I'm worried about is he might just attack us, and obviously we want to get the drop on him. We want to be in position, you know, retinues outside his capital, that type of thing, so that we can get the drop on him here. We don't want him to have his armies nicely organized, best commanders on each flank, that type of thing, uh, coming out swinging here. So let's check the, uh, we need to go independent realms, uh, which I think is page 10, but don't quote me on that one. Here we are. And then we want to go realm size. So, sorted by the top here. Fourth Dawn is larger. It's actually significantly larger there. I don't know why I thought it was less. But look at the army size. In terms of army size, though, they've gotten us beat, which is obviously a real problem because these guys, like an empire, is fourth. I mean, look at that, though. The actual division there between the world right now. They've got more troops than us. We've got more land, but they've also got the better commanders. So, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This is looking fairly sketchy off the get-go. Let's start off with some pre-war planning then. What I'm thinking is maybe preemptively hiring all of the Holy Orders in case they are, like right, right now, uh, in contracts with other people. It's only a few thousand men. Granted, it's going to be slightly more than 10,000 men or around 10,000 men. That will do it. Honestly, that, that's good enough to make up the numbers, plus our Holy Orders, so they, they have a little bit of damage, I believe, against religious enemies, right? We've got a lot of troops left to reinforce as well. We just need to make sure our pre-war planning is, is already in sort of set up in place here. So I'm thinking things like feasts improve vassal opinion. It might only be a few little troops, but of course, if we're doing that across a gigantic empire of empires, then it's going to be quite significant, even just a couple of opinion points here and there. Things like making sure the retinue is consisting of the right tri types and fully upgraded. I mean, it's all heavy cavalry here, which is um, which is fine. It has some issue. What the? F Wait, well, we can get crossbowmen. Oh my god, we get crossbowmen. Heavy defense right now. That's nice. Um, yeah, okay. I think I might go for that then, if you don't mind. I think I might churn out a whole bunch of these. A mixture of cavalry and heavy defense. So, pikemen, crossbowmen, and mostly heavy cavalry with some light cavalry on the, on the, on the vanguard too. This could be very, very nice. Um, now, the issue is our retinue size is almost entirely consumed by now, right now, by cavalry. Uh, where are they all? Is this the whole thing? This seems to be the whole unit. Let's bring them to a stop somewhere. Uh, let's, uh, let's unify them, split them in half, and disband half of it, and get the other half built up of crossbowmen, and, uh, I mean, we've got the money to do it. It's, we've got 48,000 gold at the end of the day. Uh, this is the whole retinue, huh? Um... It absolutely is. So we've got these guys over here, which I'm just going to disband for hopefully obvious reasons. I don't particularly want to fancy wandering them all the way back from uh, from what looks to be Persia there. Right, you guys can piss off. I don't even care if you are right now. So we want to sort of split this in half. Let's take a look at the compositions here. It should be more or less identical. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll take, um, we'll take this one because it's slightly smaller and slightly less reinforced. Then we'll bring in the other half of the army with, with heavy defense. Now, when I say the other half of the army, obviously these have a much lower retinue cost to create, or a much lower retinue cap usage, I, su I should say, than the heavy cavalry. So we're going to probably end up with, you know, 20,000, 30,000 crossbowmen, pikemen combos rather than, I mean, we're already basically there anyway. Look at that. And we're not even using halfway. So we might want to consider that. And, and maybe when we're up to like 25k of 250,000, I should say, chuck in some more heavy cavalry to try and keep the numbers nicely balanced here. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll top it off now with heavy defense. It's all right. I'm, I'm overthinking this anyway. It's really not too relevant, but as long as we've got a nice combination of, of defense and offense there, that's very nice. Holy shit. We've got like 38,000, 40,000 pikemen. My God. 42,000 pikemen, 15,000 crossbowmen, 8,200 light cavalry, and 23,000 heavy cavalry. That's a retinue of retinues right there. Now, you've got to remember, we've got a shit ton of cash as well. We can hire the Roman legions, for example. We could hire, uh, even to be fair, the Dutch company have a lot of troops going on for them right now. Oh my god, there's a lot of quite big companies at this stage. These guys with the 2,500 crossbowmen, I'm looking at for troop types specifically. Danish band have a whole bunch of berserkers. That's something that we don't really have going for us right now. Other opportunity to try and become an archangel here before the Great War. Come on, what, what is it we're missing again? So we got Kind Chase, Tumble, Charitable, uh, Patient. We're missing, missing Patient. Come on, come on, do it. Oh, temperate, you fucker. Okay, well, you know what? We can keep going with it during the war. You know, maybe maybe we'll become an archangel on the turn of the fourth dawn or some garbage like that. Look to my coming. Uh, your steward, ha, 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 Wang? Why is he still called that? I thought we're not... We're not Chinese Imperial anymore. So Chinese Imperial, I need to, I need to probably uh, uh, sort of point this out. Even though it was sort of a flash in the pan a little bit, we only played as it for 30 years. It did basically sort all of our realm issues because we were able to fully redistribute everything, you know, take away pagan holdings. I did a lot of the management, obviously, in between episodes because I didn't want to keep that shit in, all things considered. Um, but it, it did help solve a lot of issue, and that was basically all the time between our mother and us. So, so she, you know, when did she form it? Um... I should probably go and look at that. How am I even going to find this? Oh, something else I thought would be kind of cool as well, right? So you go to your history title. We're playing as the Roman Empire right now. 
it adds the Byzantine Empire on, but wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, pit one of these characters? Let's say, for example, where's my boy Trajan? Let's say, for example, you click on Trajan, you were able to see the borders of his empire. That, I think, would be very, very cool. And then you go to, like, different stages of the title. So you click on, like, this dude, and you get to see what he had in, in Rome. That would be kind of interesting from the player's perspective as well, to see other realms that you've helped destroy. So sl slowly see realms sink over the, uh, shrink, sorry, over the course of their history, and similarly, you could see the expanse of your realm per generation. I don't know why they haven't added that, because that would be, uh, that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, your steward, this man who still chooses to use a Chinese name for reasons I don't quite understand, has collected a, a, st a, a massive 3,500, thank you. So I don't really know what else to buy at this stage. I think we're basically more or less ready to go, short of becoming an archangel. I've been holding Feast Summer Fairs. We've got our retinue is obviously quite nicely sized up here. He's moved his capital deep into pagan lands. Like, we're talking all the way up here in N Narva, up in Estonia. Why? I don't fucking know. When he's clearly got much, much better land than that, or at least had much, much better land than that. He's moved all the way up to the other side of the world. Maybe to make our lives a bit more difficult, huh? So we're going to have to go up there and uh, probably get some boats sitting outside his capital ready to strike. If we can take him prisoner, take any of his kids prisoner, particularly like this one here, Prince, whatever his name is, manage to grab him, stick him in prison, that's at least, what, 50% war score? That would be a nice start. Outside of that, I think we've just got to go for the valuable targets. So we're talking kingdom level titles. We're talking this polar bear, for example. Knocking him down would obviously be very, very useful. We've got various Tuathe gods still kicking around. You know, knocking these guys out to start off with would not only be very valuable in terms of he'd lose a good commander, but it would give us a shit ton of war score too. Um... Besides that, though, I think I'm probably going to mostly ignore everything that's going on in Africa. A lot of it is still obviously tribal to some extent. I say that, and almost all of it is flipped to feudal. Wow, that's actually kind of impressive. Holy shit. Not only that, they're also Irish and Druidic. Huh. To be honest, we're still going to... Well, I, I think the economy map mode should speak for itself. Um, you know what? There's so much gold flipping around. Almost everywhere has fucking super high economy. Even weird places like Iceland, which normally has pretty poor economy if you've ever played in... Uh, if you've ever played the base game CK2 or like northern Norway there. This is fucking ridiculous. What have we done to this poor game? All right. Well, I'm going to ignore most of Africa anyway. We'll stick to sort of the European lands and obviously go for his capital too. I think, we, I think we've just got to go for it. So we can maneuver our retinues and sort of get that into position ready before we kick things off here. We can get a few more defense retinues there too. Very nice. Let's make sure our commanders are set up as nice as they can possibly be. So let's take you guys all off of your duties here. Because imagine the majority of these guys are archangels. Not so much the Pope. Don't really give too much shit about the Pope there. Um, my father. Right. So, oh, sorry. Great grandfather at this stage. Isn't he? Of course, that's Stalwart, which was Brandon Mina's father. Brandon Mina's son. Got it. Um, right, so let's make sure all this shit's set up then and just make sure that we're absolutely ready to pounce here. Uh, we've got 33 Marshall, 67 Marshall, very nice, good work. Sigurd the Wise, you're not that good, let's swap him out for Stalwart. We've got 25 Marshall as our weakest commander and even that isn't good enough, that's incredible. Um, the Pope, we'll, we'll have ourselves a battle Pope, I don't believe he'll be capable of leading troops, we might as well try it anyway. Um, yeah, that's looking okay. 33, 67, 32, 32, 39, 37, 35, and 32. That seems like pretty good commanders to me. I, th I think we're in an alright situation there. Then we just need to make sure things are being dished out quite equally. Now, the, the issue that we've got right now is obviously this one's an entirely cavalry retinue. This one's mixed and this one's mixed too. So what we might want to do is have this cavalry retinue basically chasing down troops. This one doing a lot of the... Because these guys have a ridiculous amount of pursuit damage. So these guys hunting down specifically the armies while we send the others after sieges and sort of smaller skirmishes. So what I'm thinking is let's put ourselves in charge of that one. Um, let's put Archangel Lobbaget in charge of one of these armies that isn't so much more going to decisively win every battle they come across here. Put Coleman and we'll put... Uh, does he even need some commanders? Honestly, I think it would be actually better for this entire army if they're just all led by... Uh, La Baguette, and this is going to take about four fucking hours. Good lord. Paradox, we need a button that's just move all. And I know you wouldn't normally do this in the base game, for the most part. Well, that is Holy Fury. I mean, you can get pretty ridiculous commanders these days. Right, there we go. So, Brother La Baguette can lead his own personal little, uh, little band there. We need some backup, because we're not the best military commander. Certainly not against some of these gods, which have been buffed significantly by Deus Fighter. Um, so what have we got? We've got us... Coleman, Raddick. Then on this one, we've got Antoine, uh, Marianos, and that's basically all we can do. Ugh. It would be a better play, then, to move one of our commanders from this one over to, to over to here. So we'll go Coleman, Marianos, and Antoine, and then it'll be us with our 43 Marshal, Raddick. Then we can move all off of one flank into the center or something like that. Still not ideal, but, I mean, what else can we do here? We're literally out of commands at this stage. Unless unless these guys, we could stop the council, obviously, doing their things as well. Pope is away from court, too, so maybe when he comes back, we can redo that. But for the time being, this is the safest bet. All right, so let's get you guys up to 
ideally, I think we want an, an army in the UK. We want an army sort of sitting around this border with, uh, you know, like up in the Alps there, up round through uh, Austria, Poland area. And then we probably want a retinue ready to land in this capital and just strike. And then we'll move those guys back with the boats maybe to somewhere like Iberia. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do exactly that. Let's get all these boats together then. So we'll go. My God, look at the amount of fucking boats we've got. Good lord, get everyone over here. This is gonna be, a, it's gonna be a difficult war. I was, I was actually gonna turn off the notification for having a son then. Um, Heng, Heng is inbred and club-footed because he is our great grandmother's and our guy's kid. Oof, owie. There's something very strange about that, and I'm not a big fan of it. Um, denounce him. N never seen this child before in my life. Don't know what you're talking about. The ruins of the Great Pyramid of Khufu is now nothing but rubble in its former glory lost forever. And I got 150 gold from it. That was worth it. Well done, everyone. But it is another pagan monument destroyed. Also, it did crash the game, along with <laughs> just about everything else. So, you know what? Um, no, there's no there's no tears lost there. There are there are no tears. There's no tears being shed out. I'm doing the same thing to uh, Stonehenge as well. Stonehenge is, is another thing that we can't have active. So I thought, fuck it. Let's torch the damn thing. We're currently at... I mean... I, do you really need to do much? I don't know if you guys have ever seen Stonehenge. I mean, it's already a ruin. I don't, I don't know if there's much else that can be done to that. Right, so these guys are going to try and wipe out the whole of the UK. Three kingdom level titles there. Then we'll have this army hit these four kingdom level titles. Our other army that have just dispatched off there, that just departed off with Archangel of Baguette. Galahad, born in the purple. That's nice. Um, we'll get, hit these guys. Then we'll go for... Is that three of the same kingdom in Scandinavia? What is going on there? Kingdom of Norway, the Kingdom of Norway, and the Kingdom of Norway. We'll hit all three kingdoms of Norway. Um, there's no Kingdom of Sweden whatsoever, and obviously... Oh, Denmark is still there. Right, so we'll also go for the Kingdom of Denmark too. We are a truce breaker, but it is only four pagans. And you know what? I feel like... I feel like now's the time to do it. Holy shit, let's not screw this up, because this is... Uh, this is going to be a hell of a battle, huh? 180,000 versus 210,000. Rome, the new Christian world versus the old pagan world. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. Let's, 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 fuck, let's, just, let's just do it. Let's rip them apart. Get in there. Uh, so my boy's going to go straight for... What have we got? We've got Schwaben. Let's go for that one first. Then we'll head up through with these guys. Uh, these ones are going to hit Wales first. We go up to, through to Scotland, down through to Ireland, and then we'll just siege everywhere in the UK down, mainly because that will hopefully gut a decent amount of troops. They've got more land boats. They're really pulling out all the fucking stops here. We haven't seen those for quite some time. It's nice to see those making their return here. We are aggressive leader. No, no, no. We are inspiring leader. I think Inspiring Leader is what we want to go for here. We're calm, we're patient, we're collected. Fingers crossed we become an Archangel during this, because that would really help boost things up here. Right, we need to, and, I, and I th I've said this with a lot of wars, we need to do this quick, and strike fast, and strike hard, and go for the really important targets. Because if they start getting their troops together, they've got troops coming from all the way up from Iceland, all the way down to the southern points of Ghana. We need to sort of deal with this as fast as possible before they can get their troops together. Otherwise, they're going to crush us. Because funnily enough, the AI is a lot better at, uh, you know, organizing shit than I am. Because I am just a boy who likes playing on Speed 5 at the end of the day. 11% war score already is looking fantastic. Kill them all, Archangel of Baguette. Kill them all. So, Deus Fighter himself is down in southern Iberia there, taking one of our provinces. Now, we, of course, haven't raised our retinue. Uh, so, sorry, our levies yet. Um, I really shouldn't have sent every single boat up to Estonia in hindsight. That was a bad move. What we want to do is get these guys back to Sweden, then disband them, and then raise them back in our capital. Now, because of enemy presence, we are going to lose a decent amount of boats, but not too many. Um, stop them immediately. Hang the culprits. Let's make sure that these boats are put down so that we can raise some fresh ones. I'm hoping, and this might be a bad play. I'm thinking 11,000. Oh, they got 30,000. Okay, what have we got from Sanctus Day? Then the Pope can only lend us that many troops, huh? Right, what we'll do then, uh, let's put a rally point for men down in Barcelona and in Tunis as well. Let's get as many troops together and let's try and capture him in battle. Because if we could deal with this decisively in one fell swoop, that would be ideal. No more bloodshed. No more good Christian lives lost. Just dealing with it as quickly as possible. We're already down to, oh my god, what the fuck? Um... Yordale, Merc... Okay, so that's this one, that's this one, that's fine. Don't worry about that too much. Um, oh god. Well, that was... Oh my god, we've got his capital siege and we're at 0% war score. Okay. Okay, this is a this is doing me a frighten. Um, you need to be... Okay, we need to get commanders. We need to sort this out. This is a state. This is a state from where this game has fucking crashed again. I've lost all my commanders. Okay. Um, okay, Marianas, you are resigned. Just get him on the... That's fine. That's ab absolutely fine. Us on the center. That's good as far as I'm concerned. We've got Archangel of on the center there. Now, what happened to our other big load of troops? Right, so they're taking out Schwaben. Let's make sure we've got uh, Ziwen. You'll do, my friend. Make sure he's on the center. And I'm going to put all the troops under him as well. Because we're going to have so many different armies. 
I think we can only spare one commander per army at this stage. We've only got something like eight commanders, and, and trying to trying to divide 200,000 men be, 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 between eight. I'm not Jesus, okay? This isn't bread and fish. This is man and blood and wine. Let's, uh, let's get... <laughs> was, that, was that the Game of Thrones uh, house house motto again, huh? Right, let's get these guys down here. Let's go counter siege and get back a little bit of war score here. Oh, God, this could be... Am I going to have to not play on speed five? Am I going to have to not play... Oh, oh, hang on, we're clawing it back. We're clawing it back. Where, where is his army's gone? We want to find Deus Fighter, and we want it. So there he is, 31,000. Oh my god, how the fuck did he get over there? Archangel of Baguette. Bear with me here. Archangel of Baguette on the center. Everyone follows him. And then we see how it do. This could be a horrible mistake. I think we'll, we'll put him on the center. We'll try and count it. Look at how fast they go. How am I supposed to catch that? My man's like a wizard. He's gone already. Okay. This could be a concern. Um, right, so let's get all these troops together. And I'm going to give Archangel a baguette the biggest... Oh, shit. The biggest army we can muster. And we're going to try and crush him. We're just going to try and take him out in the first war. The capital siege is going well. We're at 24% war score. I'm not I'm not still bricking it yet. But having seen the speed at which his troops move, that's very frightening. Right, let's drop our troops off here. Let's move baguette over to this army so we can go and fly across the, uh, the Gulf of Valencia there. He can fly back over here, get in charge of this one, put them all on the center again. My god, what an absolute state. What a complete state of things, huh? Right, there we go. Let's wait for his morale to increase because we are going to have to take a straight crossing here as well against 30. Oh, my God. Um, Right. Change of tactic. Uh, you guys are going to get back on the boats. Otherwise, they're just going to get smashed immediately. Pick up these boys in Barcelona. Let's see how many troops we got in Tunis as well. This could be... Oh, my God. They're up to 80,000. Oh, fucking God. Um... Right, uh, let's go and pick these boys up as well. We've counter siege, which has given us a lot of wars go back. They're assaulting. Oh my god, and Deus Fighters there? This could be a concern. <laughs> this could be a real fucking problem. Oh my god, we can't even move the troops off now. What have I done? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, don't panic. Get these 3,000, bring them over here. You wait there. You wait there. Merge these together. Minus 4% war score. Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. I can't command this many. We can't command any more troops. Right, get them onto there. Let's go, uh, so we've got 54,000, led by Archangel of Baguette. What's his damage looking like these days? Can we expect a decisive victory with this guy? We're looking at damage against religious enemies, 1,000%. Point, what, 1,000.50. Um, shit. 1,000.5, I guess, is probably how a normal person would say that. Okay. Deus Fighters on that one. There's a possibility that we beat him in battle, we take him as a prisoner, this whole thing ends without any more bloodshed, without any more lives being lost. There's also a possibility we get absolutely thwomped by the god of gods. Um, you should learn temperance. Right, okay, so let's, uh, let's put everyone on the center. I'm not going to forget to do that, don't worry. Let's try those people getting ready, to, getting ready to launch their YouTube comments. Here we go. Get everyone on the center. Right. 1,000% damage against religious enemies led by an archangel of the entire army. Good. We can boat bomb that one, or we land here before they take the last few provinces. We can do a straight up landing, rather than a naval landing penalty. At which point we come in at half morale, but we don't take any negatives, whereas this one we would come in at half morale, but we wouldn't be fighting Deus Fighter. That's hard. I, I'm not... Oh my god, we're at minus 21%. I can't do maths off the top of my head that quickly. How are we doing with the siege of these capsules? You know what? Yeah, we're done with that one. Move on, move on, move on. Uh, let's try and fight this army here. So, Zao's wrong on that one. Who's leading this one? Just It just says Eurus army, so it's not really much use, is it? Let's bring you guys over to... Where do we want to go? Do we want to head over to Norway up through Finland? I mean, we've got the fourth dawn there, so we could even reinforce a little bit quicker. Okay, let's do that. Let's go through and start hitting these kingdom level titles, see if we can get any kings as prisoners. We finished with this siege here, so we'll move south. I'm trying to fully siege these down, because obviously it'll take them longer to counter siege as well. Um, oh man, I, I honestly don't know what would be the best option here. I think actually doing the landing and just coming in at the half mile without the naval landing penalty. Let's do it. Deus Fighter, what have you got for me? Here we go. That is not a good sign. That is not a good sign. He lost He lost 5,600... Uh, sorry, 5,900 men. We lost 1,000. We're at half morale. Oh my god. Speed down. He's done it. I'll change it up again. You cannot be stopped. My god, the fucking madman. Okay. That I was very concerned about. If he had a bigger army, I think we'd have been a little bit shit on there. My god, he might be even too powerful for this. What is going on? The siege isn't working. Look. The siege isn't working. Why why can't we counter siege? Whoa. We can't we can't counter siege. Stop, 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 stop. Just stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Um. Huh. Well, let me just. Yep, no, they have actually just gained morale. Oh my god, we can't counter siege. Why can't we counter siege? Why can't we counter siege? There's no defenders on it. There's no defenders on it. Um. <laughs> well, this is something. Imagine not being able to counter siege uh, 1,000. Is it because of that? No. No, no, no. Why are they. Base, siege, outnumbered, times three. Should we just let it tick, see if it works? Okay, there we go. Oh my god, we can't siege assault. No, even now it stopped working again. Oh my god. Um, so this is a problem. Uh, Mythos, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Okay, okay, okay. Let's make sure we get a war score elsewhere then. So we won that battle. Counter siege here. We're back up to 0%. My god, this is going to be... Oh, I should have hung the culprits. That wasn't very Christian of me. That wasn't very Christian on me. Right, let's get back over to here. We're, we're at zero percent. Honestly, that's that's what I'm oh, that's what I'm hoping for right now. Oh, that one's gone. Oh my God! Come on, hold it, hold the the the, the left flank, right flank. Come on, no, we've had. All right, I'm I'm actually trying to micromanage so much shit right now. It's unbelievable. So I'm trying to go for a little more carpet sieging. So I'm splitting up these armies quite small in places where we've cleared out the army so that we can try and get back as much war score as possible as quickly as possible. Um, well, we know he's not around this area, and he's the only one I'm sort of shitting right now. Uh, so, okay, those guys are siege. We don't have to worry about that too much. You guys, I'm going to stand down because it's a couple of hundred men. Yeah, these guys are already fucked as well. Let's stand all of these guys down. Uh, one man, thank you. I appreciate it, but you're not really too relevant right now. We've got another army consistent of one dude. I split these armies up so we can focus on the capitals this is what i'm concerned about the majority and the bulk of his troops are on the italian peninsula so what we're going to do is we're going to again try and hunt him down with archangel of baguette look at that what a mess the fuck is going on there huh so we own what what is it what is going on there oh so they own pavia but we own every sub holding that's um that's something right let's get these troops dropped off and let's see if we can't please stop assaulting my the catholic heresy has appeared in the county of blank Excellent. Great news to hear about the Catholic heresy. Thank you. Very cool. Um, okay, please stop assaulting my shit. Chase him down. Let's kill this small army first, because this will give us something. Oh my god. Uh, well, I guess we're in now. I keep forgetting that he can move at the literal speed of lightning. He is the sky god, after all. Um, so he's going to be able to reinforce this. Oh, he's not. He's moving away. Okay, that's fine. We should still have this in the bag then. Go. Oh, there we... We get patient. We get patient. You know what that means? Battle of Lothian. That means we... Oh my god. We've done it. We're an Archangel in the final hours. That's incredible stuff. Come on, give me it. Give me it. Let's send these guys up to Mora and we'll start we'll start sieging from up there too. These guys are carpet siege in the UK. Good shit. We're up to 9% war score. What the fuck? Occupation. We've lost control of... Oh, because we've just lost control of Italy. This is the problem, right? He can move so fast. He can drop into an area. He can counter siege so many provinces he, because of his god ability, his levy size, his reinforcement, whatever, is so fucking high. He takes so few losses anyway, and then he can blitz over to the other side of the map, siege a whole bunch more shit over, blitz over to the other side of the map. I mean, I uh, we're stretched so fucking thin. We are stretched so thin already. My god. Okay, you guys go reinforce there. But, I mean, what else can we do here? Like, I'm, I'm moving these tiny little armies around just trying to get whatever the hell I can find. And I feel like I feel like we're fighting a real losing battle just because of his movement speed alone. It's unreal. And the worst part is we can't assault places down. It just won't work, which means we have to sit here and manually wait for a province like this. Whereas normally, we would just click a button and blitz the fucking thing. We now have to sit here and wait. Otherwise, their morale just kicks up and our people die, which is why we're down to 50,000 men, by the way. Um, oh, that and attrition, I guess. Shit. And that's going to take 12 days. I'm honestly starting to think this is unwinnable. Because if we're spending... Like, he can, like I said, he can go from it, uh, like here over to the other side of the map. Blitz a whole bunch of provinces down. Assault it down. Reinforce his troops as he's running back in the other direction. Meanwhile, we have to sit here and manually take... You know, this one takes minus 37% every 12 days. It means we've got to take, like, 36 days to get back this province. Then we've got to move up here. 36 days, 36 days, 36 days, 36 days. Meanwhile, he's got half of fucking Europe siege down. Um... Yeah, look, he's back again. You see that out, out of the mist steps Deus Fighter. Why is he standing there menacingly? Why is he standing there? By my stones. Why is he <laughs> coming to roll1d2games.teespring.com? Stones. And this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I was saying right there. And then he's fucking off again. Over to the other side of Europe. This is, this is fucked. This is so screwed. <gasps> But on the plus side, in nomine patris et filii spiritus sancti, that means uh, something about Jesus, I'm sure. Um, maybe it's like down to the. Let's try this. Let's try the assault again. Oh, fuck off. Ah. 
No, I'm out. I'm out. Goodbye. I'm done. That's it. I'm out of this series. I'll see you guys. Fuck it. <sighs> okay. All right. I see. That's fine. Um, <laughs> by the way, if you're trying to use keyboard shortcuts, uh, offensive keyboard shortcuts on territories that are yours, uh, don't. Because, uh, because apparently you just end up disbanding your entire fucking retinue. Who thought that the keyboard shortcut for assault would also be raise and disband boats? Who thought that? I'm so... I'm, of course, because it was home territory, I've just ended up disbanding my <laughs> whole army. Despite the fact that it was... I'm so annoyed. Okay, well, you know what? Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Look, we're still... We've still got a, a quarter of our retinue left. So it's, it's not a massive concern. Um, we need speed. We need speed. What do we... How do we get speed? That's right. Night retinues. Just nothing but night retinues. We're going to have... Our boy, Archangel Bliet, King of the Knights. All of the knights in the realm. By which I mean, it's not going to be a huge amount of knights. Is it 1,400 knights? That's still not enough. Um, can we hire some hire some mercenaries, maybe? Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Well, we've got the Roman legions. I'm in. I'm in. Rome? We're going to need some help on this one, Sextus. Taking attrition damage in our own capital. This is unreal. This is absolutely unreal. Minus 13%. And we've we still got a lot of active sieges going on as well. Um, as you can see here. I don't know what else I can do. I mean, I could flip between every single army, but we just don't have the commanders for it. I mean, how many commanders we got right now? Roman Empire. By the way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 commanders. One of which is the fucking Pope, so can't help us anyway. Um, so you can go. Thank you. I might have even included my, my, my stable master in that as well. Right, there we go. Um... Shit. Viceroy of Anatolia, welcome aboard. Okay. These guys are all leading troops anyway, by the way. Um, formally acknowledge... What does he want? Okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, he, we've irritated him. I don't give a fuck. Right. Get these boats here. Let's send these. And I mean, we've got to stick to the boats because we cannot physically keep pace with his army. We cannot keep pace with his army. So as long as we keep tracking him with boats, like, look at this. If we can predict... I mean, as Aquitaine's just raised some troops. If we go land here... This might be... Oh, are we going to be fast enough? He's going to Narbon. Okay. So are we. So that's fine. Right. Here it is. The site of the showdown. Everybody's on the center. Roman legions led by Archangel of Agat versus 40,000 troops led by Deus Fighter. We're at half morale. What choice did I have? Otherwise, they were going to outrun us as far as I'm concerned. Archangel of Agat with his 1,000 morale damage should, in theory, just mathematically annihilate them here. Yeah, okay. Good shit. This is kind of unreal that we are... Uh, the only way we can beat this guy is with La Baguette. And that's only because of some hilarious game glitch that's uh, given him every single leadership trait. This is a horrible tactic, but if it works, it works. What I'm doing is putting Archangel La Baguette on the center, assaulting something down, moving over to the next one, Archangel La Baguette on the center, assaulting it down, rinsing and repeating. We're actually clawing back solid war score this time. Not just war score that they can instantly turn up, you know, flash a fucking lightning in the middle of nowhere. Sit counter siege and then piss off again. This might give us a nice salad. And the reason I'm going for the UK as well is for exactly that reason. He would have to get a big get a big amount of boats together, which the AI is garbage at, by the way. Get a whole bunch of boats together, get them onto the boats, get them up to the UK, counter siege, and then get them back off the UK. The AI is not going to be able to do that. So this is kind of working in our favor somewhat. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. I guess that's the fucking end then, huh? <clears throat> so, um... <laughs> Battle of fucking Mal. Uh, we had apparently 300 men raised in the capital that we were leading. Uh, and then he drops 1,500 men and we're in prison. Did he get anyone else? Oh, I mean, we're at minus 100%. I don't even know why I'm fucking checking. He also got Hong Jin of the Fourth Dawn. Um, and most of our family members, although that may have been earlier. I'm not entirely sure. That's it. Because I don't think there's any way... Uh, from Ransomus? Ask to ransom prisoner, if you don't mind. No. What do you fucking mean, No. Well, that's it. I mean, I don't know. Ah. Oh. Can I reload? I feel like I was doing an alright job there as well. To say, I mean, look at the amount of troops he's got compared to compared to us at this point. I mean, this strategy up in the UK was working so nicely because he wasn't able to count siege just shit. He wasn't able to get that absurd movement speed doesn't affect boats, right? Well, look, he's instantly over there and instantly blitzing around fucking Spain again. The movement speed was just unreal. I think I think that's it. I think this is the end. Nothing left to do now but unpause and see what happens. We're, we're out of prison.
<laughs> what? What do you mean we're out of prison? No way did he just release us. We need to focus on keeping this capital then if we want to hope to try and claw back this war score. I don't know how I can ever counter siege this guy while he's alive, which is why I've been specific. I don't know if I pointed this out, but that's why I've been specifically trying to hunt him down. If we're able to get him in prison, just like he did to us, but then let us go for it for fucking reason. It's like Mountain Blade. You're escape your captors. But this guy, if we can shut him down, that's the end. They won't. They would not be able to stop us then. But I, I don't think we're ever going to be able to capture him. Right, let's get these holy orders back after they've been smashed. What about mercenaries? Uh, we can get the Roman legions again. Right, so this is a nice home defense force. What I'm thinking is, did they just drop off more troops? Did you just drop off more fucking men? Ah, oh, game crashed. <laughs> Sorry, continue from old autosave.ck2. Are you, are you actually joking? How far back is this? Are we still going to be in prison? I'm sorry, did I just see what I think I saw there? Oh my god. Black Death has started. 27... Yep, that was, that was last month. We now have the Black Death to worry about as well. Now, ideally, this might give us a bit of help. Because... We, we can lead these big retinues. We can afford the reinforce that the AI is not that good, right? We can control a very powerful, very solid unit. Go around, siege and doing whatever else. The AI's troops, the AI's many, many armies. They can control vast. We can control tall. The vast are going to be affected by the Black Death more than, more than ours would be, especially if we've got good commanders too. I'm very much just trying to fight with whatever the fuck we've got left at this point. But I think... I think this may be unwinnable for exactly what I said earlier. Just him being able to blitz around the fucking map like this is, is stifling. There it goes. There it goes. The Citadel of the First Dawn. I don't know if effect movement. I don't think movement speed affects boats, to be honest with you. But I don't think it matters anyway. I don't think it matters anyway. This was one of the downsides to them having such a massive and vast empire. Is that he could move himself to in charge of these armies, blitz the armies across the map, flip himself to an army on the other side of the map, move those guys over to somewhere else as well. This was. This was kind of unbelievable. We were playing on hard, we were outnumbered, we were outgunned, we were outcommanded, they had, they're just in, in such, such better commanders, they had gods playing for them, we only had Archangel of Baguette, and unfortunately Archangel of Baguette can't move at the speed of light, so I guess now we find out what happens, what happens now, and so it ends. The hubris of the Deus Vault dynasty has been punished. The great pagan god of gods reigns victorious after a crushing defeat of the mortal Christian rulers. All members of the Deus Vault dynasty have been rounded up and sacrificed in a great pagan ritual. Archangels and angels across the once Christian world are pursued and hunted. Deus Fighter has claimed the lands and the spoils of the old Deus Vault dynasty and crowned himself the undisputed ruler of existence. But my friends, is that the end of the story? Could this truly be it? In the words of the holy Christian saint, Saint Qui-Gon Jinn, There is always a bigger fish.